when I was in high school, I was in computer club, but uh, I wasn't in advanced math classes. In fact, I was probably not in what you would call the marquee math track <laughs> at school at all. But I had that curiosity. And I'm glad I did because being in computer club, I rapidly found that you know, math skills weren't the only skill set that you needed. It's very important, but it's not the only thing. The other thing that I discovered was that there's no such thing, at least in my experience, as a natural anything. You got to work at it. So when people may come up to you and say like, well, you know, you don't seem to, you know, click with numbers very well or initially, don't let that get in your way because I'm going to tell you something. You can get anything you put your mind to. It's just how you approach the material, you know. So keep at it. Keep going. Uh, and I did. And, you know, I'm glad I did because that perseverance helped me to not be afraid to be curious. And once that door opened, another door opened. So then I found myself essentially in undergrad pursuing a, a litany of interests, one of which was philosophy. But I also always had kind of an eye towards technology. And eventually I ended up teaching myself some very basic HTML, some basic JavaScript, and some Perl. I did go back to school to learn those formally, but it was my curiosity that drove me to get my hands dirty and play with that code because I figured it out. You know, it doesn't matter what other people say or think. You know, if that's something that I enjoyed, I was willing to put the time and the effort in learning how to do it right, and you can do the same thing.